Hi, my name is Chandler Mayo, and today I'm going to show you how to build real-time leaderboards with Unity and PubNub. This is an example of the project that we're going to be building. I'll start by entering a username, in this case, Nick, and I'll give him a score of 33. Nick is now at the bottom of the leaderboard. If I add another user, Sarah, and give her a score of 98, Sarah will be at the top of the leaderboard. So the way this works is I'm publishing a message with the username and score to PubNub, and a PubNub function is sorting the scores and then publishing an updated leaderboard. To get started, go to PubNub Developers slash Realtime Unity High Score Leaderboards repository and clone or download the repository. Once you've downloaded the repo, open it with Unity. If you open the project and you have errors that Test Runner is not available, go to General, Test Runner, click on the hamburger menu, and click Enable Play Mode Tests for all assemblies. In this case, I've already enabled Play Mode Tests. If it's not already open, go to Scenes, Leaderboard, and open the Leaderboard scene. In this scene, you'll see that we have five lines for the usernames and five lines for the score. We also have an input field for the username and an input field for the score and a Publish button. When you input text into these two fields and click Publish, it should publish the new score to this leaderboard. Let's take a look at how we're going to do that. Go to Scripts and Leaderboard. You'll see at the top of this script, we import the Unity Engine and the PubNub API. Then we create a class for the username and score. In our leaderboard class, we link to our UI elements, as well as our submit button and username and score field. In our start function, we add a listener to our button so that when it's clicked, it calls the task on click function. We initialize PubNub with our Publish and Subscribe key. You should replace these two keys with your keys from your PubNub dashboard. We also configure a UUID for our user. In your application, this UUID would be the user ID for your player. Once we've initialized PubNub, we're going to submit a fire message to the Submit Score channel. And the purpose of this fire message is to trigger a refresh of the leaderboard score so that this client has an updated list of scores. In our subscribe callback, we're listening for this updated list, and as we receive objects in the list, we'll iterate through them and add them to our UI elements. We are subscribed to the leaderboard underscore scores channel, and we're publishing our new scores to the submit underscore score channel. When we submit a new score, the PubNub function that we're about to work on will sort through the scores and publish an updated list. In our task on click function, we're getting the username and score from our input fields, and we're publishing them to the submit score channel. Our PubNub function then gets that score, and it'll iterate through the previous array to determine if the score is high enough to be in the array and which position it should be in. If the score should be in the array, we iterate through the array until we find the correct position, and then we return out of our loop. Once you return out of the loop, we publish the updated score array to the leaderboard underscore score channel so that all of the clients get an updated leaderboard. Now we'll add this function to our PubNub dashboard. Open your API keys that you used for this app and ensure that PubNub functions is turned on. Ensure that storage and playback is turned on and set the retention to however long you'd like. In this case, I chose three days. Go to PubNub functions and create a new module. Then create a function in this module and set it to occur after publish or fire on the submit underscore score channel. Open the function editor, then you'll want to copy the PubNub functions code. 
and paste it into the PubNub functions editor. Double check that it's after publish or fire and the channel is submit underscore score. Then start or restart the module. Go back to the Unity editor and click play. You should see that the fire worked and we got an updated list of the leaderboard. Now let's add a new user to the leaderboard. We'll add Billy and we'll give him a score of 55. Billy should appear in fourth place and should push Ted out of the list. It worked. Rich was pushed down in the list and Billy was added in fourth place. That's how easy it is to add leaderboards with PubNub and Unity. Thanks for watching.